Baruch here with Jen Connect and Dr. Frida Lewis Hall. So, Dr. Hall, are we still in the age of the blockbuster drug? Well, I actually think we're in the age, the golden age, of precision medicine. And by that I mean, you know, blockbusters were uh, drugs that we used that could treat vast numbers of people. One of the challenges in that was, you know, let's say 70% of people responded to that medicine. Those 30% did not. We are now in an age where we can be more precise. This 30% might respond, another 20% might respond better um, to another, and the rest to another still. And with our exquisite kind of understanding now of disease biology, you know, how diseases um, affect us, we are now able to be more targeted and more precise in what we deliver to patients. We're not completely there, but we are off to, I think, a really good start. And when we think about that level of precision and then think about psychiatric drugs, your background is as a, as a psychiatrist. Do you think that it's become more acceptable, more prevalent to take psychiatric drugs? Well, I think that we know more about psychiatry than we did, say, you know, 30 years ago when I first started my training. And we understand more about the nature of psychiatric disorders. We understand the relationship of um, the brain, right? Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people used to say, you know, psychiatric disorders um, aren't real, um, but they are. Um, and we now understand enough about them that we can begin to show imaging, for example, of what happens to brain function when you have certain illnesses. This kind of tangible um, uh, visual display has helped people understand more about psychiatric illnesses and I think become uh, more tolerant of them um, as individuals and uh, for us as a community. Thank you, Dr. Hall. And for more with Dr. Hall, be sure to check out Gen Connect.